Hello, for today's video lecture we're going to be talking about the dot product. So the dot product is a vector operation represented by dot uh, that can be performed on any two vectors that have the same number of elements. Uh, so generally in engineering we're going to have uh, vectors of two elements or vectors of three elements. Uh, we need to have the same number of elements in each of the two vectors that we are performing the dot product on. Uh, and the result of the dot product is a single scalar value uh, meaning it is not a vector uh, as the result that's equal to the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the cosine of the angle between them. Uh, so if I, had a, if I have a dot b, a and b are both vectors, same length um, or same number of elements, uh, then the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors, uh, is going to be my dot product. All right, so if the second vector uh, in that a dot b is a unit vector, that's when we have uh, something useful. Uh, so then uh, the dot product represents the component of the first vector in the direction of the unit vector. Uh, so this is sometimes called a projection of one vector into the direction of another. Uh, and this kind of re represents, uh, just like before, we were decomposing a vector into x, y, and z components. Uh, this will let us uh, decompose a vector into any components. If we have unit vectors in the directions we want, we can use the dot product to find the component of the vector, uh, the first vector in that direction. Um, so if we have A and B, so A is any vector, B is a unit vector, meaning it has a length of one, uh, and then theta is our angle again. Um, C uh, is going to be this. So it is the kind of a uh, component of this vector uh, in the direction of B. Uh, so we're decomposing it just like we did for uh, X, Y, and Z components. Uh, and this can be really useful in 3D space where it can be harder to break things down. All right, so if the angle between the two vectors is not known, um, so theta might be a problem if we don't exactly know what's going on, uh, there is an alternative method for finding the dot product, uh, and it's as follows. So we would simply, if we want to know a dot b, uh, a and b are vectors, I would do ax times bx, so the two x components multiply those together, ay times by multiply those two components together, uh, and if I have z, az times bz uh, multiply those two components together. Uh, and so then I'm going to add this product, this product, and if I have a third one I'm going to add that third product, and that would also uh, give me the uh, dot product, the scalar value, single value that's going to be uh, this piece. Uh, so this value can be calculated by hand. It's really not too hard uh, for the dot product. Uh, or there's various other computer tools out there. Uh, so Wolfram Alpha and MathLab, MATLAB both, both have a uh, dot product function that can easily calculate this for you. All right, so that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.